and what she had done was she had ground it out for the rest of the damn stove. So nobody heard it but me. <laughs> now I said, I said, I know damn well I'm a better expert road than that. <laughs> See, usually what you do, <laughs> see the sense of proof. You get your book, and then they have a bathroom with the sensor in it placed there. So you go to the bathroom and people go, oh, I just had to pee. <laughs> and, oh, no, you're not supposed to go in there with the, with the books. Oh, okay, okay. Shit like that. Now she had me walk out the damn thing, but I was trying to see how the power is rolling. But I suggest you not do this. It's $22.95. You know. <laughs> I suggest y'all buy this shit. And you know the fuck the thing about it, though? You know the fuck the thing about it? Nigga had $300 in his damn pocket. A nigga was a bad invention. A nigga was a bad invention. Dollars in my pocket. And every day I get $300 in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? And the damn people went off and nobody heard the thing. And I started watching what the hell was shit. I was walking fast and I started skipping this shit. I started skipping this shit. Like I'm fucking Wizard of Oz, Clark and Toto and shit. And then they had to hit on the bus right here. But see, but I suggest you all don't do that. You know, right. I said, I knew that. But anyway, going back, uh, this is the one to get. Is this particular book right here, you know. You know, because you all fuck around and get caught. You know, you got to be a professional. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this since age five. <laughs> never stole, I, just, I never stole from black people. <laughs> I, I had the president at the time. I never had that nigga come up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got them niggas you can't come up in your house. Never stole from black people. Ever since age five, boy, <laughs> was lifting the thing big time. A terrorizing crap. <laughs> now, and somebody said, you did you have a karma? I'm like, come on, man. Don't you know that those scriptures was written about karma? Some of that stuff was written when we was in our own civilization. This is our shit we retrieved. You know what I'm saying? The white man don't own nothing. He don't even own the land. He don't even own Europe. Back there, I come say, somebody tell you to go home, where the hell would you go? Because he don't even own Europe. You know? So, you know, so what? This is this is the actual one. This is the actual one to get. Um, one to get. Uh, when we go into this thing in a few seconds and all, like I said, the myths from Mesopotamia is the stuff that's dealing with those particular gods in that particular area where Iraq is, and this is what this stuff is all about. And I'm going to read a passage in here on why it really had to go into Iraq. It's a passage in this book, Myths from Mesopotamia, by Stephanie Dolly, D-A-L-L-E-Y. Dolly or Daly? I think that's deep Dolly. D-A-L-L-E-Y. Yeah. Daly or whatever, Dilly Daly. Uh, and that, that I'm going to read a passage in a few minutes on what that is. But now, in Carl Perini's book, Echidna, which you'll also find in here, she's an ancient form of the Great Mother. And the Great Mother is always associated with water. That's when you get Madre de Agua, Mother of the Water. Madre de la Luna, Mother of the Moon. Mama Shola is a fertility goddess. And Santissima Moretti um, is, is also the goddess of the underworld, or the goddess that sets over the witches, which in Oshun, or in Yoruba, they're called the Aj, the witches. So the goddess that sets over the witches. Um, um, uh, but, now dealing with this, Echidna is an ancient goddess that's in Greece, um, is a... A form of the great mother is where they get the word kidneys from. So, the white boy knows that the Christ energy, when it rises up, it gets nurtured within the kidneys. The kidneys is a very important, sacred energy, two kidneys, right? So that's a form of mayat. Now, don't they have in one of the 
Zodiac signs, two entities pouring out jugs, vase of water. That's Aquarius. Is there two entities on there? A one. Is that Gemini? No, is there two entities in one of those things? Which one? Gemini. Pisces, which is the fish. Okay, and Gemini, which is also two twins. Um, the two twins or the two kidneys represent Mayat, which is the scale, the balance. Apparently, hmm? Libra. Libra. There's your scales, Libra, all that stuff. But it's all, well, what we just named by four or five zodiacs, so do the math. It's, it's all the same. It's all there. It's the whole zodiac. But the kidneys is one of the most important aspects of the body. Um, so, it is fitting that the white boy would attack the kidneys because for some reason, that is where your soul, after it rises from the sacral vertebrae of the lower intestinal tract, where your soul is. Your soul is in the lower intestinal tract called um, the lower intestinal tract called uh, the Bindu seed. Now, that's where your soul is. Now, they know that, they know that once the soul rises up, it gets nurtured within the kidney complex. Uh, and it's born of water. So for some reason they have to attack to attack the kidneys. Now, this is one of the keys. They're telling the black man that he has to go and get the whole thing based on the high blood pressure. And I've been talking about this for four or five years, about the high blood pressure. And um, you know, they're killing you, they're locking you up in jail, they're giving you AIDS, they're killing 35 million of you in Africa, they're killing you all over the planet, but yet. They got commercials on telling you to get some help for high blood pressure. Seems to me, that would be the thing to tell a person you find. You see what I'm saying? The key here is they have to lower the high blood pressure. Now try to understand this now. Cause, cause try to understand this because this is one of the key things that's dealing with everybody. Now I do, for a person like me, and I could probably say my diet, but still yet, yeah, a person that don't worry about nothing. And a person who don't, it's just, it's, it's more relaxed than any damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I have to find myself sometimes. I'm so damn relaxed. <laughs> and when, when, like I said, when in 99, when, you know, got in the car wreck, well, somebody hit us from behind and, you know, three car pile, three car pile up, we was at the front and about four cars behind and yet we all hurt. You know, to get the money and stuff, they had to go get the check up. And when they came out and all, and they told me that, you know, your, your, when, when they came out, took my blood pressure, and all the nurses start running down the damn hall, just looking there to see who blood pressure was this fucked up. <laughs> like this and stuff. And I knew then the spirit was like, well, damn, man, that's a major achievement, because you know that that's the Kundalini energy. And it was, it was one girl from Panama, or Cuba, black girl, and she said, you don't got no high blood pressure, although she was the one taking it and writing it down for the doctor. She was, but she was spiritual. She looked at me and said, you don't got no high blood pressure. Now she's taking this, a moment before she said, your high blood, you know, this says your high blood pressure is so and so. This shit is extremely high. And she turns to me spiritually and says, you don't got no high blood pressure. I know what she's talking about because she knows that I know what she's talking about. I know it's the Kundalini energy. So right then, this was a tap in to try to understand what was actually going on, uh, what was actually going on. I've been talking about this for the last couple of years, but this is very key now because, um, like I said, I don't know the last time I was here, my, um, my, I had an uncle that, uh, that was on dialysis in 1970, and it was almost like some Martian had landed. We, you hardly found nobody with messed up kidneys, and it was, it was such an ordeal. And I didn't see nobody for the rest of the 70s. I think it was in the 80s where I met somebody else with, with, with was on, on uh, uh, dialysis. That was, it was so rare in the 60s and on back. You know what I'm saying? And now you go down there and they got about as many people in this lecture on dialysis. You see what I'm saying? 
I said, it's like somebody going to an NBA game or some shit. <laughs> so you know then that they're shutting down the actual kidneys, and one of the keys to shut down the kidneys is the high blood pressure medicine. You see what I'm saying? The high blood pressure medicine is one of the keys of shutting down the, tit, the, the kidneys. Because they have to shut down these kidneys and stuff based on, they know that that is the level in where the soul takes its ascent. The kidneys is very important. So they have to shut down that. You got what you got, you put on the heat? Shit, I get ready to say that. <laughs> I'm going to need some fucking dialysis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can sweat large. <laughs> now, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, they know that the high blood, they got to get this high blood pressure down. Now, uh, according to this book, Kundalini, the Energy of Depth, Lillian Silburn, in this particular book, which is taken from ancient manuscripts, or ancient Sanskrit, put out by the State University of New York. Um, they know that the Kundalini, well, the first thing happens is the Kundalini is the heart starts to accelerate to a high level. Your heart starts to pulsate at a, at a high level. And I explained that before. It's under the chapter of the root of the rhythm. And the return of the return to the heart. Let's go to page nine and see what that is. This book is Kundalini, the Energy of Depth, D-E-P-T-H, by Lillian, L-I-L-I-A-N, Silver, S-I-L-B-U-R-N. Lillian Silver, S-I-L-B-U-R-N. Page nine, let's see what we got here. Y'all all right? Yeah. Return to the hearts. To the heart. I'm trying to see what they're talking about here. The turning of the energy on the energy level, stirring from the lowest one, Shiva takes back the divine energy, turning inward by a series of whirlwinds to the initial vibration of the peaceful center. When all rhythms have merged into the rhythm, into the great rhythm of consciousness, the united energy, in energy, the to identity, to the identity of Shiva, and energy is realized. So, in so many words, they're talking about rhythms and pulsations of the heart, which I experienced all of 2000, 2001. Who run down the damn street and don't get a heartbeat, but damn lay down and go to bed. I'm getting a, 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 a serene state and my heart about to jump out the chest. What kind of shit is this? You know, be doing all kind of exercise or whatever around the heart. Don't feel no heart beat. But go lay down and sit your boom, 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 boom like this. That is because that's a meditative state I went into just by relaxing. And the heart automatically, on this high level, it automatically speeds up. And I talk about how there's certain melanated, minerals in the body but in the body this all over the body mineral, minerals alloys all types of compounds but they're all over the body and what the heart does is once, once the heart starts to tap in it starts to uh, accelerating so it can turn the central nervous system at a faster rate to line up the melanin and these energies come together to give you the new chemical body or the new chemical God and they call it the new chemical Christ or the new chemical light. So this is the science of alchemy in the whole central nervous system. So in order for this to happen, in order for you to become to your Christ self, your central nervous system, system has to speed up. In order for it to speed up, your heart chakra regulates the central nervous system on a spiritual level and it speeds up and it turns the cosmic ocean. You'll see a lot of this um, in, 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 when you get the Richard Barron's book on the apocalypse, you'll see um, the book, The uh, uh, Parallel Myths. You will see turning the cosmic ocean. The cosmic ocean is the central nervous system and those 
microscopic organisms that is in your body coming together. Coming together. There's a whole cartoon movie they did about the body. Um, what's the name of that movie? Bill Murray is in the movie. Osmosis Jones. Get that cartoon, Osmosis Jones, where they talk about your body being a whole other universe on the inside. Osmosis Jones. Movie dropping. They got the whole hypothalamus gland and all that up in there. So, um, that, so, 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 uh, that whole central nervous system of the inner universe of the inner world is regulated by one center. So, based on what happens metaphysically, you are going to have high blood pressure. Now, I was telling, telling them about a sister, uh, uh, like the sister, um, Fanny was talking about how her blood pressure was high for two days when she was going through the whole sacred mushroom bit. A spiritual channel and all that type of thing here. And all, you know, uh, uh, altered states of consciousness. Well, um, this is Christ gathering the flock. All of this stuff is metaphysical. You see, uh, uh, all this stuff is metaphysical. You see what I'm saying? And all. You get a lot of that stuff in Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. That's still out. You can still get that, can't you? Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. I think that's still in print. Um, but um, um, your heart chakra has to go to another level. Now, as a sister in Atlanta, sister has an impeccable diet. She can't even eat tofu. And she's allergic to it. So she's a perfect a impeccable diet. And she went to, uh, uh, we was up in this store to buy some um, uh, some books. And they had a little weight of uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, blood pressure machines. She got on that shit and she was like, and the, and, and the woman did it. She's like, oh man, your shit is ridiculous. <laughs> and I said, don't worry about that. I said, it would have to be that way. I got on there and all and the people started running. My shit was <laughs> max the fuck out. <laughs> now, that is essential and the reason why I say that is because you're going to go through that when you go to a spiritual level. And if, it, and, and if you're going to go to a spiritual level, it has to happen. So that's why they're giving you, that's why they're even telling you to go back to them old water pills uh, with the blood pressure. If you can't afford the old, you can't afford the old high blood, the new high blood pressure medicine, they're giving you these cheap water pills and all the time to bring that blood pressure down low because they know that that is the kundalini energy. So why do they say now, if it's supposed to be something that's supposed to be curable, why do they say that uh, when you get these things, you're going to have high blood pressure for the rest of your life? If you just automatically come into something that you're going to have for the rest of your life, that means that's an attainment. Now, as we say before, you stroke out and you do other stuff based on, number one, dehydration. That's the first thing. And the second thing is diet. But basically, you stroke out basically based on dehydration and sleep deprivation. You see, sleep deprivation and dehydration. That's the key to the whole thing. You see, so the kidneys are under attack. They got a war against the kidneys because they're attacking the great mother, echidna. You see. So that's what this thing is about. Um, that, that's what this particular thing is about. And it's based on the whole water. It's like the whole soda thing. We was talking before the break, it was talking about um, the sugar and the stuff, this mutated sugar and all. Well, uh, down there in Atlanta, which is a test, a test program for, for everybody, for the whole country, because it's the CDC, so they test out all the shit on the niggas in Atlanta. Central of Disease Control, hey, they got a whole test ground testing ground to do stuff on the black people in Atlanta. Now they got a, the, the grocery store down there is Kroger. And down there in the Kroger, they got a whole row full of nothing but sodas. All of them cheap. Ain't none of them past two, three dollars. Which is what? Dehydration. As well as the sugar thing. On the other side is on directly on the other adjacent to that on the other aisle is potato chips. Which is what? Dehydration. Soda. And in the potato chip aisle, it takes up half the aisle. This next section right beside the potato chips is peanuts. <laughs> and right after that is popcorn. <clears throat> all types of microwave, all types of, all that's dehydration. So they got this stuff 
hooked up. You see what I'm saying? A certain way, you see. And, uh, and it's very cheap. You see, it's, it's very cheap. At least those foods are very cheap. You see. The whole key here is, is the fight against the kidneys, a kidna, the great mother. Dehydration. You see, anybody got any questions about that particular part right now? On, on that particular aspect? I fought that shit the last three days, what you just said. About what? Uh, I remember I was telling you, there's a lot of shit coming to me, stopping me from coming to see you. Yeah. And the dehydration in the last 24 hours, I swear. That's what it got, two gallons of water just Yeah. Ever since the end. Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the key. And every time I try to speak with this knowledge, my kidneys would hurt. Well, now this they is interesting here. They would tighten up. And I said, wait a minute. Now, what am I saying here? This is one of the keys here. Now we know that when you look at all the ancient texts, there's some kind of amphibious nature, even ends up in the Bible, as the great fish, Jesus. You know, the great fish. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the great fish. Um, you can tell you that Jesus and Leviathan is one and the same, the great fish. That's Jonah and the whale. All these stories is talking about symbology of the Christ energy more than some evil things. That's you still on the child level. So, if we was coming from some amphibious nature, and the government knows that this is all about the return of the gods, then they know that what well, here goes, here's the, here's the story again. What was dormant in the past when you could drink water and it was just to uh, hydrate the body? You see what I'm saying? And it was for your nutrients or whatever, water, whatever it does. You see. They know in a quickening, or they know in the new age, a drink of water the right way could wake up the monster. It could wake up the entity that is asleep inside of you. You get it? Like the movie Water World. Remember the movie Water World? It was all water, but the one who had the gills was the king. Kevin Costner, he was called a mutant, and he had the gills because he was a mutation. Well, there's a mutation. That's what Christ is. The fermentation. The mutation. You know, Christ comes from Dionysus and Sheba and Osiris and Horus. So if you want to, you get more out of studying Dionysus Shiva, Horus, Hercules, Perseus, than you would out of Jesus. Because Jesus is a fragment and a compound fragment to suggest ancient forms of the Christos. Chrysomalos, the black Christ. Who's that? Hey, I was going to share with you all too. Before Dr. Monahan died, she did a water take on water. Now this is yeah. this here. And he took the minute of us to drink a lot of water. Uh-huh of the chemicals that are put into it, <clears throat> two things are taking place. The water is not penetrating to the tissues of the cells because the molecules are too large. Uh-huh. Are you following? Yeah. So what, this here would do is very important that this water with the, that has the right spin yeah. to it that we get it because it causes it from what I'm saying to go back to the top of the side of the molecule. But you know what? There's only one thing that overrides the technology. That overrides the technology. One thing that overrides the technology, and that is this, spite, when we get into the technical aspect of what the water don't do, the Kundalini energy inside of us, which shoots up, actually purifies the systems. So ultimately, yes, I'm not saying that it is not wise to try the different things. If you can, you know, to try the different things. You see what I'm saying? And from a scientific point of view, that is right. But now, don't rule out the fact that we are in a mutated or a quickening or a shift, a paradigm shift. 
You see what I'm saying? Nature does it all the time. Because nature goes through just as much of hideous types of irregularities, but it purifies itself. You see, and even putrefaction, which is deterioration at the lowest form, is a form of purification. You see, so what's that mean? I just wanted to add something as far as we're talking about the heart, the heart chakra, yeah. the heartbeat. I was at the hospital with somebody, mm -hmm. and um, I was sitting in the emergency room with him behind the curtain, mm -hmm. and they took them upstairs to do some work on them or whatever. Mm -hmm. They had the little heart monitor thing you stick your finger in, uh -huh. and they took it off the person. They went upstairs, and so I'm sitting back there for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm just sitting in the chair. I said, well, I ain't, you know, ain't no TV in the emergency room and nothing like that. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there, and I said, well, let me stick my finger in the thing. I stuck my finger in the thing, and the alarm went off. <laughs> like that. Yeah. And um, the people come running down the hall, so I took my finger out. <laughs> <laughs> and they, you know, they, where did the alarm go off? Uh -uh. So I stuck my finger back in there again, and the thing shot all the way to the top and started alarming. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now I ain't running. I, I mean, I run, I jog, I've been right, yeah. 30 years of old shot. And I stuck my finger in the thing, and this heart monitor went all the way to the top. They ran down the hall with the crash thing. The crash thing. Right. And came in and said, and I took my finger out, and they said, well, what happened with the machine? It must be messed up. So mm -hmm. they just took the machine out and went down the hall. <laughs> Brought another machine back left, and I said, well, Maybe it was just a machine that was messed up this time. <laughs> <laughs> so I put my thing in the thing again, and it shot all the way to the top and went off. And so this time I let them come in. And then about four or five of the nurses, doctors came in and said, what, what you doing in this machine? I just said, I stuck my thing in. And they said, put your finger back in there. So I put my thing in there, and the thing shot to the top. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they said, you dead. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm sitting there. I'm right. Sitting there, I'm, you know, I've been sitting there for three hours. <laughs> exactly. Now you go through the all the way to the top. They say that you're not even supposed to be alive. Look, you go through the transformation. Look. Look. You went through the trans same transformation that I went through. I'm down there 50 pounds, 60 pounds overweight compared to what I was five years ago or six years ago. But I feel better than what I did six years ago. And the sister Kimberly told me in the spring of 2000, she said, well, she's psychic. She was like, well, apparently you, sometime in the spring of 2001, you died in your sleep, and motherfucker, you didn't know he was dead. <laughs> so you're a dead man. Now I knew something was going on because the little boy, the, uh, the one that did the family survive for my brother, and my brother damn near started crying. He's a very spiritual boy, a little sixth sense boy. You know, he he, he, he real spiritual. And for, and so all of two, the end of 2000, he kept saying, "Dead man, that's dead man, Uncle Bobby, dead man." Wow. Why are you calling Uncle Bobby a dead man? He because he a ghost. He a ghost. Wow. For, for two months, he said, that nigga's dead. He said, he dead. He's a dead man. He's a dead man. And they was like, why? Because he's a ghost. He's a ghost. You see what I'm saying? So, it's, what's that? That's right. It's the whole vampire thing. Now remember now, you, you, uh, especially in her book, The Vampire Encyclopedia, wow. by, by the, her, her book, the, uh, yeah. uh, what's her name? Yeah. Anne Rice Vampire yeah. Encyclopedia. Because in that particular book, that's the one that hit, along with the movie Queen of Damn, is that Vampire Encyclopedia. Because it was interesting that she had to put Dionysus in there, she, put, she had to put Osiris in there, and she had to put Jesus up in there, in the encyclopedia. You see what I'm saying? They try to tell you the close connection between all of them. I got a, a whole thing dealing with the whole vampires from heaven. And, uh, and the whole Osirian Jesus complex, that's the whole uh, vampire story. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Dracula story is nothing but a story of Dionysus. It was refashioned to the 18th century aspect from Bram Stoker and stuff like that. So, in so many words, in so many words, 
when you get to a certain level, now this is interesting you saying that because now, we're right on track. Now, you said, the guy said you was dead. Now, by you being in the martial arts and different things like that, over the years, you had to have transformed to a certain level. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, how it was done on how I actually died was, and try to understand the science so you can understand. This is why they got to dehydrate you and they got to do things and they got to tell you, oh, you got half attention. Half attention and all this stuff here. Now, they get my marker. The seed, the seed, this is essential for just our band. I'll draw it again because this is the one you need for the gateway. If you don't put nothing up in your house, you put this one and put Zara Banda at the top of the sigil. At the top of the sigil. Now. And, and all. Now, the seed, if this is the body, this is the body. Y'all all right? Yep. Yeah. And the seed is down here in the lower and gastrointestinal intestinal tract. This is the intestinal tract. You see, go down to the ravenous dragon and recover the seed that resides near the ravenous dragon. The dragon is the intestinal tract. If the seed is down here, and the seed goes through the kidneys or whatever and it makes its way to the heart chakra. Once it makes its way to the heart chakra, what happens is it starts to wake up. It starts to give a series of pulsations. What is actually happening is this. Now try to understand this. You have a physical body. And your physical body is comprised of spirit that animates the body while your soul is asleep. Understand the difference between spirit and soul. Everything on the planet has a spirit. A rat has a spirit. So the next time the white man tell you, I bleed, I tell you, you bleed with a motherfucking rat, bleed too. You cut a rat, that shit bleed too. That don't mean nothing. Don't mean it's equal to you. Equal to me. So everything on the earth plane, hell, a damn roach has a spirit. It's moving, ain't it? <laughs> And they smarter than us, because them motherfuckers are territorial. Like Dick Gregory said, the roach in your bathroom ain't the same as the roach in your kitchen. They don't mix streams either. You ain't never seen the roach in the bathroom hooked up with the roach in the damn kitchen. They're territorial. They look a bit. You know. Now, it's segregated. I point out. <laughs> now, once this heart chakra, the seed travels up and wakes up. Knowledge wakes up the seed. Right. That's what wakes it up. It's a call. That's the only thing that wakes this damn thing up. Is gnosis, knowing, knowledge. It is an intelligence unto itself. It wakes up the seed. The seed is the Christos seed. If you think it's some crack on a cross. You know, the cross on the cross. Where's the cross? The cross is your fucking, when you do your body like this, that's the cross. Jesus died on the cross. The seed is down in this, under the shit sack. That's the death. So you born dead on the cross. Once it rises up through the gastrointestinal tract and goes to the heart chakra, and the heart chakra starts to pulsate, it puts out a series of pulsations. That's what the book is talking about, Kundalini, Lini, the Energy of Depths, by Lillian Silver. And it gives a part of, 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 of and it goes to the, the part of, of um, pulsation. This is what happens. When the heart starts to speed up, that's the, the soul has a heart beat too. But the soul is sleep for most of your life, and most of you never wake up. So the, your spirit runs your body. The soul is asleep. When you see the negative confessions on the wall that they took ten of them and made the Ten Commandments out of, but the negative confessions of the laws of Maya or whatever, and you find and you find them on the walls in Timon and the pyramid text, get the Book of the Dead, it's in the back of the Book of the Dead. Just the Book of the Dead. When he's saying, I have not done this, I have not done that, I have not done that. 
is not talking about what the physical body hadn't done. That's impossible. That's right. That's impossible. Like the man told you in the mission, don't try to bend the spoon. That's impossible. Bend your mind around the damn spoon. So the physical body, it's impossible for the physical body not to do 47 things or 147 things. It's impossible for the physical body to be omitted from three damn things your whole life. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't talking about the, what the physical priest has done. His soul hasn't done that because the soul is in the bottom of the gastrointestinal tract asleep. This doesn't exist. Only thing that exists is your soul. The soul hasn't done those things. So it's ludicrous for you to sit up here and not do those things. Refrain from sex. Refrain from this. Refrain from that. Flog yourself. <laughs> Going through all that hell and you could have been having fun. Smoking your joint, drinking your slit smoke liquor. Getting chain handcuffed to the bed. And nothing wouldn't have happened. Well, let's get this again now. Hold on. You non believers. This is coming out of your Bible. This is the stuff that was taken from the conference of Nicaea. The psychic man has instructed, is instructed, instructed by psychic matters. They are strengthened by the works of mere faith and do not have the perfect knowledge. They belong to the earthly church. That's how much y'all earthly church goes. Good conduct is necessary for them. Otherwise, they cannot be saved. That's talking about some people. Actually, it's talking about some people who ain't got no soul. We spirituals can be saved. And, 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 and no, we otherwise cannot be saved. We spirituals can certainly be saved, not by good conduct, but simply because we are by nature spiritual. <laughs> by nature. Goddamn. You've been fucking around and did all that lockdown shit all your life. <laughs> and could have been getting your freak on, like Mr. Elliot said. And right here in the shit, they took out a conference of Nicaea. The Romans did that, put you on lockdown. It said, we're going to just say, something for the simple fact, your nature is spiritual. By nature, we say, oh, oh, shit, you still on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But, okay, hold on one minute. Okay, here it is. Just as the earthly church cannot participate in salvation, for it is not capable of receiving it. That's talking about a person without a soul. And you know who ain't got the soul? Uh, it is not capable of receiving it. In turn, the spiritual cannot accept. In turn, we spiritual cannot accept decay. No matter what actions it undertakes. Just as gold is placed under the mud and the, and, and the mud does, it does not lose its shape and the beauty, uh, in shape and its beauty and retains its own nature and the mud cannot harm the gold. So we cannot damage or loosen our spiritual nature if we engage in various material actions. Nothing on the planet Earth, if you have a soul, can stop you from going to where you're going to go. You can go out here and kill a hundred million niggas. It don't matter. Now that's fucked up for humanity's sake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't advise you to do that. Because you might try to knock on my door. And I have to kill you. But it ain't got nothing to do with behavior. Now, going back. It has nothing to do with behavior. And the only reason why you know that is because you've been trained that way. You know what I'm saying? You've been trained that way. And if, if, in that case, we would all fail the test. You know. But then again, that's what religions do. They want you to think that you got the real thing and nobody else is going to attain nothing but you. Can you believe that? Ain't that something? You and your little pathetic church in the middle of nowhere. The earth is billions of years old. We live on a goddamn planet where they don't even speak the same language down the street. You know what I'm saying? 
They got all these customs, and you think that you and your little pathetic church is the only one that's got the key to this shit. You know what I'm saying? In that case, you should be mad at God for, for creating such an imperfect world that you and your motherfucking asshole want to hear babies and people sitting up in the church is the only people got the key. And you know them niggas aside, you don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. You get you going to heaven, though. You know? Ain't that something? Now, nah. once this pulsation starts, that is the soul. The soul's heartbeat taking over. And what it does is it, put, it replaces its heartbeat with your heartbeat. So in so many words, what happens is this. If your heart stops, stops beating, you will certainly die. Because that is the pulsation from the spirit in your body extinguishing itself. But if there's another heartbeat behind that heartbeat that's getting stronger and your heartbeat stops beating, you live. See what I'm saying? So what happened to me was when I lay down, I'm doing all kinds of stuff all day and I'm getting a regular human heartbeat. But when I lay down, my heart beating off my chest. And I go to sleep and I wake up in the middle of night, my heart beating off, the, off my chest. You see what I'm saying? What it did was, one night, the old heartbeat was extinguished. I died. And the other heartbeat took over. That's the whole thing with, with the whole Christ thing. It's just there wasn't no stringy head crap 2,000 years ago or no nigga 2,000 years ago. Because what it's talking about is the nature of the humans on the earth in the last days. And the humans on the earth in the last days are the same damn niggas that was here 2,000 years ago. Just reincarnated. So, you did die. And that's why I died because I know when I would die, because what happened was, before 2000, the spirit would have to wake me up and say, you're coming down with a cold. Go get you some echinacea, some gold seal. And I go in there and die some echinacea, gold seal. You know what I'm saying? And then go back to bed. And wake up and don't have a cold. And they, would, they did that from 94 to 2000. Then it would wake up and say, you're coming down with a cold. And it put me back to sleep. And when I wake up, the cold would be gone. So what was happening was I was gradually dying into the old body until now I don't even get sick anymore or anything like that. Only thing I said I ever had in my life was a, a cold. I don't even get that no more. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I don't even get that anymore. So I know that there's another entity. So what happened was is you was a fucking dead man. That's the bottom line. You transformed. You, you transformed. At all. To the point where as all the stuff was going on with your boy, that they talked about, um, Dr. Devil Blair was talking about in Nexus Magazine, the, uh, Simeon. Simis, uh, uh, Simeon. Simeon Toto. Only thing he did was, is more, or uh, what he did was, is that particular entity, the higher entity, took over. And that's what the Christ self is. It, it, uh, the higher entity took over, and that's what the Christ self is about. Um, uh, is, 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 and and um, so this pulsation has a lot to do with that. So on the other hand, they have to stop the high blood pressure because they know that other people's heart rate is accelerating. That pulsation is going to another level, and you too will die in your sleep. You see, you too will die in your sleep. So they have to stop this thing. You see, so on the other hand also too of what I'm saying about the water and the technology and what she was doing was fine and the white boy was trying to stop her. But the thing about it is ultimately it ain't even about, it's not based on what this white man ultimately does because he can't stop nothing. You see what I'm saying? Because the mutation is going to happen regardless. You see, it's going to happen regardless because that's what time we are in. Now, he can retard the process only when the planet was gradually going to that. But we're talking about a quickening. And he's going up into Iraq. Has a lot to do with that. Has a lot to do with that. Now, dealing with these, you got El Chris Banner. That's the gateway. That's the opener of the way. 
El Cristo Negro, naturally, that's the crystals to Christ inside of you. Lie spiritus and tranquilis. That's seven, intang seven, seven in, um, entangled spirits. Santissima, several, seven entangled spirits. Santissima Muerte. That is the goddess over the witches. San Simone. That is the god of that is the god of justice, divine justice. El Cristo Rey, that's the Lord of the world. That's another form of El Cristo Negro. Madre de Agua, mother of the water. That's called Mami Water in Voodoo. La Santissima Petra Emin. I think that's the god of magic. Let me get my thing. I want to be right. I want to put this on the tape. Where's my book? This is the one coming from the Santissima. It's called the, uh, the book of, this is Paulo, Paulo, uh, Naomi coming out of Puerto Rico, but I want to get what Santissima, this is the one that just so happened to be out of print now. Right after I started talking about it, they took it out of print. They do a lot of them like that. Santissima Petra Eman, very powerful spirit, the powers of spirit, he's, a, like I said, uh, he's over, over magic, black and white magic, spirit used to attract money and wealth. So I know y'all are like that motherfucker. That's La Santissima <laughs> Petra Eman. La Santissima Pietra Emin. That's the one that attracts money and wealth. Ooh, I know you like that one. <laughs> Francisco C.H.A. Reyes. That is the one that is powerful spirit of four winds. So he's the spirit of the elemental four winds. That's the one that comes through that Atlantic Ocean at night uh, uh, in, in, in the, in the uh, uh, fall of the year, the hurricanes and stuff, the four winds. Mama Shola, which is the goddess of fertility. And Madre de la Luna, the goddess of, 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 of the moon. Madre de Agua is the goddess of love also. Uh, with using Madre de Agua, you can get any lover you want, or whatever the deal he is. Alabama is the goddess of the opening of the gateways. These are the ones to write down and call upon, uh, and also call upon. Now, uh, uh, now, as a result, y'all all right? Okay. As a result, they say that these gods, all the gods have to give over to new gods. So, like I said, is everybody writing these down? Or whatever, yeah. Let's be got it on the tape so y'all get the tape. Because I got to put some other ones up here. Now, to explain what's going on, I must go into a bit of history of the occult and what the powers that be are doing on the planet. They were looking for a time in history that they know that all the older gods on the planet would have to mutate into new entities, new gods. That's the mutant, that's the X-Men. So there's supposed to be a return of the new gods. And everybody on the planet is looking for the new gods. So all of the systems around the earth they have used up. The last system was these Pilos. Was these Pilos. But they were looking all over the planet for a break. Crawley got a break when the angel Awas came. But Awas was the one amongst older Egyptian deities. And his whole system, Alistair Crawley's system, was comprised of ancient ancient Camite deities. So the old gods will return with new names. That's to clear up the mess with everybody arguing over my God's better than your God bullshit. When they return, it'll be a composite of the old gods, but they would have to go through a fermentation, a transmutation, an illumination. They would have to go through a mutation, a new God, a new entity. And that would be the new eon entity. So the occult world, the white world, the one that rule you, that give you the religion and all this kind of stuff, was looking for the new gods. But it can't come to them. Why? Because they're not the original people. So all over the planet they're looking for the actual new gods. Fortunately for us, there was a breakthrough in 2001 and the new gods started coming. 
the new God started coming. I quote this because I say this over and over around the country because I am so glad that they didn't come and I didn't get them through the channels. I'm glad that they came through certain sisters. They came as far as the names. Mainly the two sisters that gave the new gods, that came up with the new gods, one sister in Atlanta from by way of New York named Kendall, and the other sister, uh, uh, the other sister is out in Los Angeles, uh, um, out in Los Angeles by the name of Kate Khadija. And they both comprised of the new gods. So it's one in Atlanta and the one in, in uh, 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 L.A. the guy. That's why I'm glad I was out of that way because, because I know nigga right now, that goddamn nigga that I went in and invented him some new shit. Now, I knew he was coming, that old cult thing. He wants to invent him some new stuff. So they got it. Then a couple of other people started channeling the gods. Olivia from Kansas is sitting in the back. She channels to those particular entities. The sister in, 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 Los, An in, in Los Angeles channels to those entities. And the sister in, uh, the sister in uh, Atlanta chapter the entities. So I'm glad that the entities that came, I'm glad that they came through the sisters. It looked like the movie Minority Report. If I saw the movie Minority Report, where the, the, the female of the psychics was the more powerful than the males. So I'm glad that they came through the sisters, so the sisters would be the voice to get this shit up. Although they were hooked up with me as far as they, they was my comrades. And they came through the sisters, and not by me per se. You see what I'm saying? You see, that way nobody can say, "Well, that nigga done, done got him some new shit up there and all, you know, all this kind of thing." They came through the sisters and stuff. So, so in so many words, the whole entire occult world, metaphysical world, and governments around the world. That's what this book is about. Um. The Stargate Conspiracy that, uh, what's the name talked about last night, um, um, by Lynn Pickett and Clive Prince. Lynn Pickett and Clive Prince. The Stargate Conspiracy. This particular book, that's what they're talking about. They were looking for Stargates and they was looking for the new gods. They were trying to save their asses on the planet when this shit go down. You see what I'm saying? And they ain't looking for no Jesus. <laughs> they give you that shit. You see what I'm saying? Oh, it's the Christ they're looking for, but there ain't no 2,000 year old motherfucker walking around there. And then they got all these damn stories on TV about James, the brother of Jesus. You see this fake shit here? Yeah. They got a little old chest, a bone chest. This might be the greatest find in the world. And this can prove that Jesus, they even had to prove this. We ain't got no proof that there is a damn Jesus. But they come and go get a box that they done, the government done came because it's always a conspiracy uh, a lie agreed upon. So they go get a little old box with some Hebrew letters and say, this is James, the brother of Jesus. <laughs> you know, I'm like, come on, give me a fucking break. <laughs> so y'all trying to run this shit, but they already know you trained and programmed and that shit, you've been following that shit since you was a child. You know what I'm saying? You know, David, I'm, look, <laughs> when I was a child, I was a complete idiot. <laughs> when I was in Mother, South Carolina, from damn age two, uh, born in Los Angeles, from age damn, I came to South Carolina at age one to damn 18 or 17. I was a fucking idiot. So the damn if I'm gonna believe in some shit that I grew up with, I mean, what's the fucking use? You mean to tell me somebody give you some shit at birth, you got a whole big ass world and universe out here, and you mean to tell me you that dumb to stick with some shit you going on 50 years old with the same shit you grew up with and you don't find something wrong with that? That means no evolution whatsoever. But they say people feel safe in their fucking environment. They don't want to go outside of their environment. So an ant in a coconut shell, a water, that's a whole ocean to him. That's the Truman Show. You ever saw me? Who been not saw the movie The Truman Show? You better recognize get the movie The Truman Show. But they couldn't even keep Truman after he found out the bullshit. One mistake and his consciousness came on. They give it to you night and day and you still want to be dead. Not you in here. You see what I'm saying? So now, 
They got a box talking about James, the brother of Jesus. Well, damn, nobody didn't even know who the fuck James was until you found the damn box. <laughs> Another J. It's another J, though. It is another J. Yes. Now, yeah, I know the whole story of James, the brother of Jesus. But I'm saying, goddamn, you at least need to hit it. Including this nigga at people churches. I thought Mary was, was divine and wasn't fucking around. You know, is he the older brother of Jesus, too? Yeah. Smells like older than Jesus. So Mary was part of a whole, wasn't she? <laughs> I ain't tell you shit, but now all of a sudden they want you to believe the Jesus story. Now James pops up. Now I know about it because I know the Gnostic material that they got it from. And all these words are the same Egyptian stories that they done re-did and all of this. is sublime mythology and it ain't got nothing to do with no historical figures. But they're going to run that old Jesus thing. They, they back in the news with that old shit now. You see what I'm saying? And now they got a box. The, the, the Shroud of Turin, that whole thing fell through and when they did the carbon date they couldn't find it was Jesus and then they had to go in and say with this guy's burial cloth the guy that uh, uh, Hakeem Bay was talking about yesterday the, the, the Rosicrucian of the Knights Templar guy there's a whole book on that thing called the second messiah called the second messiah a whole book on that on, on that whole thing it was this guy's thing what's that no not Pastor Beverly Randolph no the guy who the guy who oh, this, this is a white guy and they burned him to it at the stake. Joseph or something. Josephus. Not Josephus, it was Joseph something. It was another. Not Josephus was the, was the, uh, was the, was the Hebrew writer for the, for, the, for the Roman government. Um, but anyway, that was his thing. So now they got to come. They, they describe shit with his fake. Now they got to come up with a box. It ain't even Jesus, but it's his brother box. So you supposed to believe in Jesus. Well, who the fuck is James? Back to the company. Arendio James Simpson? I know that motherfucker real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what was this James thing? I know it's in the Gnostic. I know what it is. But I'm trying to say. All of a sudden, now they're gonna tell you you got a brother. See, they're gonna break tradition. You know, he, you know, and all this kind of thing. He could even tell you the other story. All now, all of a sudden, his brother up in here and all just for you to believe that Jesus shit. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. You see. Now, going back. The Stargate conspiracy, they got a whole conspiracy because they're trying to find a link. But the link is in the ghetto. That's where the link is. So the link came by way of two sisters that was corresponding with me. And they brought these things. And after a while, in all, it came out to be 21 digits, 22 in all. But 21 has already come to the planet. I can give you 10 of them because the 10 of them has been up and running since 2002. And the other ones we just received in July, we got to do some work with it. Plus, I don't want to put all that on the camera because the crack, because you're not going to deal with it. The white boy going to straight up take this shit in his lodge and start dealing with it. Because then all the other shit is dead. So they're going to take it straight to their lodge and start dealing with it. So we're going to give you the 10. We're going to give you the 10. Let's see. Now this is... This is the good part about it. Uh, since they came to us, we can spell this shit in Ebonics. <laughs> in life. That's my shit though. I want the shit that I can spell my fucking way and not the crack away. So I spell how the shit sounds. <laughs> also because I can't spell. <laughs> but, I, but finally, we got some language that is spelled how it sounds. You know, none of that. Why need it starts with a J? You know, dumb shit like that, crack shit, you know? Why need it starts with a damn J? And we're not going that, we're going straight up Ebonics on your ass. Because it came to us. Now, it comes to the crackers, they can put it in an old English if they want to. But with us, at this dial and nine, this shit come to us with straight up Ebonics, it sounds like it shit sounds. So how it sound to me, that's spiritual. That's the way the shit goes. Because I can't spell, I go by phonics. I don't go to fuck a sound. So, since the shit came to me, and the, and the truth is three sisters, we spell it the way. O-T, teacher. O-T-E-A-C-H-A. O-T, teacher. Oh, 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 I got the end. Oh, oh, no, 
that's Otisha. But that's a, I ain't no Isha Tisha Quantisha. No, it ain't one of them black names that's actually Russian. Ain't that a bitch? Some brother said, brother, but some brother came up to me in um came up to me in in one of the lectures in New York. Brother, ain't it spiritual? All these black names, Kantisha, Batisha, and Isha, and all that kind of thing. I know it's got you. I said, that shit ain't spiritual, man. Ain't shit spiritual about that shit. That's some shit. I said, them is mostly Russian names. Those are Russian names. The niggas are naming themselves. Quintisha, Ibisha, Quantisha, Tisha. Those are fucking Russian damn names. You know what I'm saying? That's what that shit is. Moesha. <laughs> O'Keen. That's what I, I left out my N. C H A. O T. That could be T E E. O T E. T. I put this A, but I put an A Y. Sure. You know, I put that A Y stuff. It looked like some old hieroglyphic shit. 